Hello, my name is Darren Thomas, and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to learn about naming cells and cell ranges inside Microsoft Excel. So let's see what we can learn. So I'm here inside Microsoft Excel, and there are times where we want to try to save information that we're going to use all the time. So it's gonna be like an absolute value, if you will. And so let me demonstrate this instead of talking theoretically. So let's say I have the base and the height of something and I want to use these values so 10 and 12 now I can type in 10 12 10 12 over and over again or I could do something called naming the naming this particular cell so what I do is I highlight the cell that I want to name and then if you look to the left of the formula bar here's your formula bar right here if you look to the left you'll see a C2 I could change this C2 to whatever name I want so I'm going to call this base and so now, whenever I refer to the, to the name base, it'll refer to this particular cell, C2. Same thing can be applied for the C3, where I'm gonna change this to height. And so this is like saving a variable. If you're familiar with other you know, programming software, RStudio, Python, whatever, I save these values here, and they're kind of fixed now. So if I type in equal sign base, it's gonna always see how the C2 is highlighted blue there. It's always going to refer to that, and of course, if I press enter, it'll, of course, use that value that base has been set to. And if I want to do I can, a basic equation, I could do base times height, if you will. Whoops. And you can see both of these are highlighted now. I press enter, I get the output when I do 10 times 12, or base times height in this example. So this is some of the advantages of naming um, cells. So now there are several other things that you need to be aware of as well first of all you can of course edit these things well excuse me go back here we click on click on formula and then after you click on formula you click on name manager so this is of course control f3 if you want the shortcut when i do this it shows me all of the different uh uh cells that i've given names to and also ranges we'll deal with ranges in a moment and so inside here, you can edit these if you desire. So I could change the name of the variable, or excuse me, of the, of the names uh, range, names, cell name for base. I could change it if I wanted to. I could change what values, it ref what values inside the worksheet it refers to, et cetera, if I wanted to. And I could also delete them if I desired to, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And of course, you can make one from scratch right here if you really wanted to. All right, so something else that we can do here, let's say I have like volume, and width, so let's say I have several values here. So my volume, let's say it's 100 as an example, and, no, eight, excuse me, and my width is two. And so now I can, if I'm in a hurry, I can make, uh, I can name several things at the same time very fast by highlighting what I want and then clicking on, again, formulas again, and then right here, create from selection. And of course, the shortcut for this is Control Shift F3. If I click on this, it automatically detects where the text is at. And so it's saying name based off the left column, which in this example is gonna be volume and width. And when I click OK, now wherever I wanna use this information at, so let's say equal sign volume, you can see how the eight is automatically highlighted. So Microsoft Excel has automatically created, I guess you can call it a variable for simplicity's sake, uh, a variable that has set VLL to eight. I press enter and the information is right here. And the same thing, of course, for width. If I do width, I press enter, and you can see I get the two, just like before. And of course, I can use all this stuff in various formulas if I so desire. Now, another thing that you might wanna see, and let me just go ahead and set something up real quick. Let's say I have some rows here, so row one, and then I'll just go down maybe three rows. There we go. Then I have two columns as an example. Just drag across here. Okay, and then I'll just put in some funny data here. This is just made up. You can also name entire tables if you desire. So I highlight all this right here, and I go through the same process. I just give it a name. So we're just going to call this data, and it's locked in. And so whenever I refer to data, it's going to automatically pull this information. So you can see. When I type in data, everything's highlighted. And of course, it puts the information here if I really wanted it to. And I can always edit this. For example, I can leave out the text. Let's say I don't want the text anymore. I can edit that if I desire and just have the data right here. 
okay? So those are some of the really, really neat features that we can use for naming cells inside Microsoft Excel. Now, one more thing that I need to show you is if you press F3 by itself, it'll pull up a little table here called a uh, paste name and it gives you access to all of your little um, friends right there and you can paste them into the, um, to the worksheet if you so desire, but we're not going to do that. So this is the real advantage of naming cells and cell ranges. When we're talking about ranges, we're just talking about more than one row or maybe more than one column or more than one row and more than one column. And when we're talking about a cell, we're just talking about one individual cell like C3, B2, etc. And that is basically how this works inside Microsoft Excel. So this is very valuable when your documents begin to get very complicated or when you find yourself referring to the same values over and over again and you're looking for a way to give yourself a shortcut and save time, this is where this comes in handy. In addition, when you want to when you have absolute values that never change, this is where this can also help you because you know we have relative values and also absolute values relative change as you move throughout the document where absolute stay fixed but anyway my name is darren thomas i am the director of educational research techniques thank you for watching and take care